Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Music Marketing TV. I'm Dan D, and thanks for tuning in. Today we're looking at Sugar Bites Unique, and we're making some minimal pads. All right, guys. Um, in this video, I'll also be showing you how to hook up and really use Unique to the fullest. You know, using all of its controllers, filters, knobs, parameters, everything. All right, guys. So let's get on with it. Uh, this is the kind of sound we're going for today. You can see a whole bunch of stuff moving around. Um, not really using motion, but I can show you that. It's pretty cool. Records your motion when you move that little box. But um, yeah, a whole bunch of stuff is moving around. We're gonna work around with some different types of oscillators and whatnot to get this kind of sound. All right. So let's start fresh here. I'm going to start fresh. Cool, so I'm just going to keep the chord progression that I have, but before we start, uh, make sure you guys have your chords set up like this, you know, depending on what DAW you're using. Make sure it doesn't connect to the next line, alright? Make sure you have it off just a tad. Um, you can do that by selecting all of your notes, um, changing your quantize or your snap, and um, just shorten the, uh, just a bit. You know what, I'm even just going to go one frame like that okay cool so let's go take a look at unique so first thing we want to do is set up our oscillators like any other synth set up your oscillators we can use pulse we can use sawtooth we can use uh, FM uh, we're not going to use noise okay because that's just silly so let's go into something very simple triple saw you can choose your octave I'm going to go to my mixer here and just listen to uh, what I have for oscillator one. We'll leave it like that. You can also detune if you want to. I'll make this one very high pitched. Slow attack. Trying to get the right release and uh, attack going. This should be great. Let's move on to oscillator number two. Close that one. So right now we're working with sawtooth. Same thing as saw, triple saw, except we have a spread feature. Let's go to pulse. Pulse width. We'll make this one lower. Sure, why not? Nice. Gotta change the attack a bit, maybe. Cool. Very nice. Let's add them to together. Not so much highs. Cool. All right, we're gonna have our pan set to the middle here. Let's do some auto pan so we get some ear candy going on. So with number two. Uh, we won't pan it too much. You can hear that's going like slightly left to right. Make it slow also. With the higher one, with the oscillator number one, we're going to make it go really wide across the ear, uh, across the headphones or the speakers rather. Very nice. Leaving it in the middle will make it go left, right. If you go all the way this way, it will go center and left. So we want it to go through both speakers. So we want to put it right in the middle. Double click to get that middle. Cool. All right. So after you set up your oscillators, your mix, uh, we can go into filters. We can either make it vowels or no vowels. Vowel filters. We can change a few things here. We're going to leave it to envelope. And we're going to put a high resonance, drive just a bit. We're going to go all the way down here, peak all the way down. Maybe too much drive. Okay, sounds good. Let's get rid of these effects. 
Very nice, very nice. Could you even spread it a bit if you want? The more you spread, the more off tone it will be, off pitch. So we're going to leave it about maybe right there. And let's see, we're going to change our uh, envelope here to low pass, four pole. Yeah, way too much resonance, but that's okay. Mix all the way up. Mmm, cool. We'll leave it right there. Okay. Um, we can add some sub oscillators, put all the way down. Okay, cool. Now let's go to a controllers. Even though I have it a little bit linked up already, we we're going to show you how to do it. So let's uh, mess around with the cutoff here and let's make it go, make it go kind of like this. So it's a little bit of movement, right? So I'm going to right click, LFO. Now we can control our rate here. It's pretty simple, right? Change the waveform if we want to. Let's go faster. That's pretty cool. Okay, we can also mess around with the peak. Why not hook that up to the LFO as well? Very nice, very nice. Okay, let's add some effects here. Maybe a uh, bit crusher. Let's crush it a bit. Mix, we'll have it. We'll have it all the way. Why not? Okay. Let's use the envelope for this. It's already going already, so let's uh, right click envelope, right click this one and put on envelope. Ooh, that sounds cool. Change it to decay so that it slows down while... Slows down coming back down. Very fast. Interesting sound. Very digital. Alright, that's cool. Let's go and mess around with the sequencer here. Let's get that uh, on and off sidechain thing happening. I'm going to right click uh, my master volume to sequencer. Do every and count. Oh, that sounds cool too. Put some drums in here so we can hear what's going on. Cool. Each note, start. Not even clock start. Oops, sorry about that. Have a little bit on the ones and twos, in betweens. And we're gonna make this sound like side chain compression. We're gonna control our direction, but we're not gonna do that. Um, definitely like this sound. And that's pretty much it for this episode. Um, if you want to use motion, you can just click on the box here and it will record your motion that you're creating until you let go. As I've let go, it's going to do exactly what I've done. You can smoothen it out and we can, you know, tie that into something, uh, you know, maybe like something like this, which say motion X. Every time it goes left and right, it will record that. We can go Y every time it goes up and down. Pretty cool stuff, huh? And that would make it totally random, which is cool. Alright guys, I'm Dan D from Music Marketing TV, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoy. Peace!